Now, as the UK heads into increasingly tight restrictions, the picture is similar in many parts of Europe. The Netherlands and the Czech Republic have just imposed lockdown restrictions due to growing case and hospitalisation numbers. Well, with travel restricted, it also means that tourism has taken a big hit and it's an important industry, of course, for many European countries. So how are national brands coping with the impact of the pandemic? Well, the chief executive of Bloom Consulting, Jose Philip Torres, joins me now. Jose Philip, you've published uh, a ranking of uh, countries. Who's up and who's down? Thank you so much, Ian. It's a pleasure. So I have to say that the the, the study that we've performed uh, across the world, so we, we have more than uh, 4,000 people interviewed um, and how the governments dealt with the crisis and uh, uh, this, this, this horrible crisis and how this management has actually impacted their reputation or their nation brand. And uh, what we've seen is, you know, you have, you know, the star uh, on all this, which is New Zealand. Uh, you also have great countries like uh, South Korea, Germany, and even Singapore that actually uh, have a, a positive hit, let's put it this way, on how they dealt uh, with the crisis. Uh, unfortunately for the UK, uh, the UK is on the bottom of this list. So we have uh, 53, uh, we analyzed 53 countries or three, 53 countries were mentioned on how they dealt properly or not so good with the brand on the, the crisis and how this impacted the brand and you see that uh, out of the list of the 53 that we analyzed uk comes comes in uh, position number 50. oh dear that's pretty depressing <laughs> what are the what are the variables that uh, dictate a country's ranking so uh, we analyzed uh, you know how the countries have uh, how uh, the citizens, global citizens, and when we say global citizens, we talk about from a tourism perspective, uh, from a talent perspective. By talent, I mean the willingness to visit, to, to study, to work, to relocate into a specific country, uh, or also uh, the business community, how they were impacted and how much has this management uh, increased the willingness or not to visit uh, the country, the willingness or not to invest in the country, to relocate to the country. And out of, of all these, uh, we see that approximately 70% of people uh, said that they were impacted uh, in all these fronts that I mentioned. Being the, the one that was uh, took the hardest hit was talent. So people, you know, out of this, you know, you have people thinking about relocating to a specific country um, uh, or visiting or, uh, for, or to study, uh, you can see that uh, this was the dimension, we call it dimension, that took the hardest hit. So countries should be pay special attention to this uh, and they should look into their nation brand carefully. Okay, Jose Felipe, very good to talk to you. Thanks for joining me. I'm sorry we haven't more time. Cheerio. Thank you. My pleasure.